there is an interesting little act that is only one page in length and has only one section the footnote section is bigger than the actual act itself it is called the judicial officers protection act of 1850 and this act is the basis of the judicial and quasi judicial authority as a defense in tort law judicial authority is exercised by judges and magistrates and uh, quasi judicial authority is exercised by bodies like uh, arbitration panels or tribunal boards who exercise judicial powers in specific jurisdictions this act says that judges magistrates and others acting in a judicial capacity are not liable to be sued in civil courts for any actions performed as part of their judicial duties this uh, judicial immunity applies regardless of uh, whether the action was within or outside the official's jurisdiction as long as the official believed in good faith that they had the power or the jurisdiction to perform that act and uh, this immunity extends to officers of the court and to other officials who are required to execute lawful orders issued by judicial officials but uh, there are some restrictions to this immunity if a judicial official is uh, acting malafide and uh, knowingly acts outside their jurisdiction then this immunity will not apply if uh, the judicial official is performing an administrative act like uh, issuing a warrant and not a judicial function then this immunity will not apply and uh, the act clearly states cannot be sued in a civil court so this is only immunity against civil lawsuits and not against criminal prosecution in the sailajanand pande versus uh, suresh chandra gupta case the magistrate acted malafide illegally and outside his jurisdiction and ordered the arrest of the plaintiff the court held that the magistrate was not protected under the judicial officers protection act and was therefore liable for the wrong of false imprisonment in the state of up versus tulsi ram case the judicial magistrate signed an order for the arrest of the plaintiffs who had been previously acquitted by the high court it was held that the magistrate had acted negligently and also he was only exercising an executive function while issuing warrants and not a judicial function therefore he was not protected under the judicial officers protection act